Welcome to this video where I'm going to be improving what I showed you yesterday where I released this script which will upload to WordPress for you. Uh, basically in yesterday's video I talked about how you still need to do some things manually but someone I'm sure will come up with a way to automate the Amazon research part and of course that is exactly what happened. Not even an hour after my video dropped, someone messaged me and sent me this prompt right here. What this does is it watches the video for us, it takes the products, and then it searches for the products on Amazon, and it takes the ASIN. And what I wanna show you is a little flow that we can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my Python script, which is going to start writing. And then I'm also going to start this right here. So while it's writing the previous article, we can start to do the research for the next article. And yes, this will probably all be possible in the API. You will or you can use plugins in the API from what I'm aware of. So it'd be really, really cool if I could work out how to do this without even pressing enter or doing any work whatsoever. But for now, this is what we've got. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting this inside this right here, which is the example CSV, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take the title of the YouTube video. So you can for sure just tell ChatGPT to do all of this for you again but we're just gonna do it like semi-manually, semi kind of non-manually. I'm doing it like this, by the way, if you're curious, because I absolutely hate CSVs inside Visual Studio Code. I do not recommend doing any CSV stuff inside this program. It is a nightmare that I just do not understand. But this right here, this is much easier to manage. Hello to the two people who are here from yesterday's uh, video as well. Okay, so while this is just finishing, let's check a couple of these ASINs. So what we can do is we can search for the product ourselves. You can pretty much guarantee it's true here unless uh, it's decided to hallucinate. If you don't know, then ChatGPT does sometimes hallucinate and just make random things up. Which it, looked like it, it looks like it might have done right now. This is not correct. Oh, okay. It's just a different... Oh, okay. No, it is correct. It's fine. So, yeah. Uh, first one is correct. We'll just check. Uh, let's check one more. Interestingly enough, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you don't even need to... You can just... Oh. So, I thought you could just put the ASIN, but apparently you can't just put the ASIN. You have to search for the product first. So, we'll go for the Breville... Oh, no. That's not the ASIN. That's why. So, you can apparently just... Yeah. So this is super, this is something that I find really interesting about Amazon, okay? Like, you don't need to put the URL. You just need the, the ASIN. I find that super, I don't know how they've done that, but I find that super interesting. So you can, look, look at the URL here. This is Technivore Mocha Master Coffee Brewer Polished Slash DP, which is not this product, but because this ASIN is the same, it's almost like this is invisible and this is only for SEO. Uh, but this here is the, the actual URL. I wonder if you go on Amazon, this is just a curiosity, guys. I'm sorry, I get curious about things like this. If you go on Amazon.com, no, okay, it doesn't work. That, I, I, okay, fair enough. So it's already done what I wanted it to do, but it's added this Amazon link, which is kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna press stop generating here and say, uh, relist without the Amazon link. And hopefully it's not going to freak out and start doing some web pilot stuff. Okay. So this is what we need. This is the exact format that we need. This is perfect. Okay. So we'll just let that finish real quick. Um, it does need to be in one row though. So we'll see how that um, stages out. Wait, we'll stop it here and say, can you just put it in one row of a CSV? Thank you. Make sure to say thank you to our over overlords, our AI overlords. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click in the ASIN and we're going to do control V like that. And then we do need a quick, so write a 50 word uh, video summary. Do not read the transcripts again, please. 
please don't read the transcripts again. You just spent 10 minutes reading the transcripts. There we go. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this into the uh, body description. And this is how we generate the article. Okay, so we'll put this here. And then all you need to do is file, download, download as CSV. And then, first of all, let's see, because we just posted our first thing while that was loading. So we'll go on my website and we'll click here and we'll see how this article turned out. It looks good, but for some reason it's been messing up the links. Um, it's probably just I'm using the wrong uh, prompt right now. So it, it's not really a big issue. Okay, th th this is almost too embarrassing to admit I was using the wrong folder this entire video. It's not a big deal though, because uh, we can just, yeah, we can just work from here. So what I'm gonna do is the, um, the, the file that we just downloaded, I am gonna open the file. So go to file, open file, downloads and example CSV. So we'll put this, we'll drag this into the workspace like that. And then what we're going to do is we shall delete the original. Yeah, we're going to delete the original and we're going to rename this to file.csv. Okay, so now when we run the script, it's going to work perfectly, of course. So Python and then please work.py. What a fantastic name. Let's hit enter. This is one of the first times that I'm doing this with a completely new CSV file. I've only already written about the first one, so I'll be incredibly curious to see how this works. However, the important thing here is not actually the output of this article. The important thing in this video was to show you how you can automate the process of getting the ASINs in order to make very quick and easy content. The thing I like is being able to do two things at once. This is something that I learned from my years of playing old school RuneScape. If you can do two things at once, it's always better than doing one thing at one time. So it's a really good advantage that you can do the research for Amazon while this is basically creating the content. That means you can constantly keep this running as much as you want. There will be ways to fully automate this, but for now, you're gonna have to work with the script that I have made. There is nothing more satisfying than seeing the code that you or ChatGPT, whatever, created and it actually working. When I press refresh here, this is gonna have a new WordPress post. Brew like a pro, top home coffee, machines maxing at 50. The 50 thing here, uh, it's coming from my prompt. I still have to change that because I say that you have to use a maximum of 50 characters for the meta title and it's confusing things. So I'm probably just gonna have to remove that and I don't really care about long titles anyway. Image looks great as usual. It's got a nice introduction at the beginning and would you look at that, it has the products perfectly embedded, except this one. Because I believe this one doesn't exist, it was almost so perfect, but just for some reason at the end here, it failed. But this is looking great. This is looking fantastic. This is how you automate all of the research part of this flow as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps you make some content and I'll see you very, very soon with some more. Peace out.